Welcome to Global Supply Chain Management. My name is Neil O'Connor and I'm your resident expert in this exciting unit that we're going to be covering lots of very, very interesting issues this semester. As you can see from the slides, I'm just going to take you through over the next five minutes a quick overview of what we're going to be covering. There's my background there. You can read about that in the materials on Moodle. Of course, I spend a lot of time visiting factories and that's my current obsession and that is going into factories and finding out how we can actually improve their operations, which is the heart of global supply chain management. It's not just shipping goods from one country to another. It's actually getting the goods made properly, efficiently in an optimized manner. And so we're going to look at various factories and problems in addition to other issues associated with supply chain management. About the assessment, very, very quickly, and we'll spend more time in the first week, and that is the learning objectives to help you appreciate the challenges facing small buyers as well as large buyers in addition to the challenges facing suppliers. So we're looking at the supply chain management problem from both sides, the buyer and the supplier, not just one side, which is traditionally covered in university courses on supply chain management. There's a participation element of 15% a quotation that you're going to be asked to do in about week four and actually you have to get a quotation from a real supplier. There's a quiz in week eight on 15%. Uh, case study presentations will be made during the semester and then there's a final report where you actually get to focus on a particular area that you are interested in, whether it's blockchain or post-COVID challenges on the supply chain, or is it something else associated with their own, your own business that you are in, or internet of things, or a startup supply chain issue. There are so many issues that you could look at, and the final report and video presentation is 45%. So that's briefly the assessment. And there's plenty of resources available in this unit, including my very own. I set up the China Sourcing Academy with an associate of mine, Mike Bellamy, and together we've created over 16 hours of teaching. And as being part of this unit, you get to join the China Sourcing Academy for free. And that's for you to be associated with for the rest of your career. Of course, there's a lot of videos I have on YouTube. I edit the Tech Asia YouTube blog, and that has lots of factory visits, interviews, including videos from the global supply chain management course that, that I taught last year. And there's various issues in the way we're going to try and organize you to make it more exciting, especially having mixed membership of groups, encouraging you to participate. Even though it is online, we want lots and lots of participation. We want you bringing your ideas into the classroom and not just listening to me all the time. Okay, what is also special about this unit is I'm going to take you from the macro to the micro. And in the macro, we're looking at the COVID, the trade war, the China 2025, the China Belt and Road, consumer markets. There are a lot of macro issues impacting on the supply chain, especially this year, as you know, with COVID-19. Then we're going to look at the supplier contracting challenges and the minutia of how do you actually manage a supplier from start to finish. And we really take the view of the SME and I have my three circle supply chain framework, which I designed to help you understand the challenges for a small buyer for an SME that is sourcing from overseas. Then we look at the problems for the large buyers. How do the large buyers do it? How does HTC, how does Apple manage their supply chain? And then we finish up and looking at various industry 4.0 issues, IO2 innovation, the startups, blockchain. There are so many issues in this space. And I've tried to neatly 
package it into this framework you have before you. I just want to finish right now. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the class. I want you to bring your energy, bring your A game, bring your experience in so we can interact and actually multiply the excitement that I'm going to bring into the unit. I just so looking forward to seeing you next week. Welcome to Global Supply Chain Management. This is Neil O'Connor and talk to you soon.